This August, Ingham residents are going to get a chance to vote on the Capital Area District Library millage renewal. Our last millage was in 2014 and it passed by 78%. What that told us was that the voters thought we were doing a very good job. Um, within that time, we've circulated over 10 million items. We've had 1.7 million visits. So we're a very busy library system. And what we're asking the voters for is just to be able to continue to offer those services. With millions of visits each year, Ingham residents may wonder, what does the millage provide for library funding? When the millage is renewed, we continue uh, operating um, on a daily basis. The, the millage provides 90% of our, our total budget, uh, and it provides for all the collection, the materials in the building, all computers, all overhead, all salaries. If we don't have our operating millage, uh, we can't open our doors. But how much does the millage provide for the library, and will voting for it result in an increase in taxes? In 2006, we asked for 1.56 mills. It's been that rate since 2006, and so we've been able to renovate our branches, add new services, while keeping the millage rate the same. So for taxpayers, it's not a tax increase. The tax rate stays the same that goes towards the library, but we're still able to continue the fantastic services that we offer. I asked local residents to give a public opinion and see if there was anyone out there who supported or didn't support the millage renewal vote. Oh, well, I fully support the millage. I've already voted uh, for it, and uh, I'm a friend of the library, and we love our library. I was unable to find anyone against the millage who was willing to give an opinion, but whether you're for or against, you can make your voices heard this August. With Home TV, I'm Chris Robertson.